Djokovic, Federer, Murray, Serena, Osaka, Barty, some of the most dominant tennis players in recent memory all have one thing in common in their equipment setup, natural gut strings. And a couple of months ago, I also switched to a hybrid setup using natural gut and a poly string. And my only regret is that I didn't use this setup while I was playing professional tennis. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my experience using natural gut, why I did it, uh, why I felt the need to make this switch, some of its pros and cons, and why I think you should actually give this setup a shot. Let's go. If you are new to My Tennis HQ, we do tennis lessons, racket reviews, practices with pro players, and tennis content you won't find anywhere else. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button. So before we talk about the gut, just a little background. I've never played with gut. Like literally had never played with gut in my life. I've always played with full poly setups. To be honest, when it came to picking strings when I played, a lot came down to cost. Um, you know, there were different brands that would you know, reach out and give you strings. And, you know, I played with Solinka for a long time, head strings for a long time. I got some Tec Techni Fiber right now, some Yonex strings. I mean, I played with kind of, you know, anything that I, I liked and it was also cost efficient as you know, you're playing professionally, uh, you wanna reduce your costs. And obviously if you're trying to reduce your costs, playing with gut is not really the way, it's expensive. But man, I wish I tried this sooner. Uh, my setup, let me talk about the setup first. Uh, this is the 2023 V-Core 95. I know it looks like it's not, but it is. Uh, review is coming soon, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So yes, yeah, V-Core 95, uh, I have it on the mains here. I have the poly string. Honestly, I just use whatever I have right now. I'm mixing between the Technifiber and some head strings that I have left over. And on the crosses here, I'm using natural gut. Uh, Wilson natural guts, 16 gauge. And the tension here on this racket is on the mains, on the polys, it's 58. And then on the crosses, on the gut, it's 60. Uh, just to help again, a little bit of control. This is a more powerful setup, which I'll talk about in a second. So I chose it to put it on the crosses just to give me a little bit more control. Uh, a lot of players put it on the mains. Uh, Taylor Fritz is, uh, has it on the mains. Roger used to have it on the mains. I think Novak, I believe, is on the mains. Um, it really depends. Uh, I personally just thought it was a bit too powerful um, and is already powerful enough with it on the crosses. And before you continue this video, I'm asking for a huge favor from my community here, my Tennis HQ, if you, if you can give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. As we switched the content a little bit when I was in Australia to more vlogs, uh, it feels like the algorithm didn't love it. Uh, it's not pushing our videos out as much as it was before. So for everybody that's been here for a long time and everyone who's new, if this video is helpful, please good thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. We, we wanna break that 100K, um, hopefully in the next couple months. So really appreciate that. Let's get the channel back at full steam to get to that 100K. But now let's go back to the video. Okay, so why am I doing this now? Marco's actually uh, switched to gut after the US Open last year, trying to get a bit more power on his strokes as well. And he's playing with a very similar setup, V-Core 95, gut in the crosses, just the tension is a little bit different. And as I played with his racket, I was like, and I, as a, I saw him switching from it, from um, you know a full poly setup to um, the, the hybrid setup. I was like, whoa, he's hitting the ball way bigger, but without looking like he's trying to hit the ball bigger. Um, and so as I tried his racket, I was kind of, I was really surprised by how, you know, the actual performance of natural gut. So that is the main reason I'm switching to this setup to get easier access to power. I'm not naturally a very powerful player. I do hit a big ball, um, but I've always, my setups were always more aimed towards control. But even though I'm not playing pros anymore, I'm obsessed with improving and improving the quality of my shots all the time. And I noticed that playing with gut allowed me to create a lot more power, effortless power, not feeling like I'm having, I have to swing so hard to put balls away. And that's the main benefit about playing with gut. The ball carries so much speed. Sometimes I'm watching, you know, Marcos hit with someone who's not playing with gut and it just looks like that ball is just going so much faster with so much more momentum to the other player compared to their shot towards Marcos. It seems like by the time it reaches Marcos, it's already kind of dying. So having this ability of generating more power 
uh, more speed on my shots without feeling like one, I'm swinging much harder or much faster or outside of like, you know, myself. And it's especially good in those defensive situations where you're a bit on the stretch, uh, you're not gonna have necessarily the entire strength of your body to hit the shot. Uh, you might just have to put the racket on there, um, give it a little flick, but you're still gonna hit a really high quality shot. So I, I noticed that, especially playing you know, with Marcos with the higher level guys where I feel like I'm on tough situations, but I'm hitting higher quality shots out of those situations. And on top of all that, God, it is good for serving. Serving was always my issue. It drives me crazy that I wasn't playing with the setup because now I'm just dropping bombs on the serve. It, again, not feeling like I'm actually swinging harder, but the ball is just coming off bigger. I'll uh, overlay with some some serves here. But man, I wish I was playing with this uh, when I was playing pros. It would have made holding serve a lot easier. And for me, at least, the, the last benefit of gut is obviously feel. Uh, polyester strings nowadays are really good, um, like really, really good. But I don't think anything still compares to to gut, the feel of gut. It's a bit softer, it's easier on the arm. It's like you you can feel the ball a lot better on your strings. And I think if you're someone that struggles with injuries, especially arm injuries, tennis, elbow, all that stuff, I think it's worth giving a shot at, at a gut setup because um, it is that much softer and that'll, that much easier on your arms. Now, of course, there are cons to this setup. Uh, the first one and the main one, and I'm sure is the one that I'm gonna get the most comments on, is price. Uh, you know, a set, of, a set like this might run you about $50, um, 50 US dollars, which is pretty expensive. So this can definitely price out a lot of players who are on a budget. Now the second con is a funny one, but it's actually the power. Um, I'm a former pro, I've been playing for over 20 years, I understand my setup, I understand, you know, I, I have good strokes. I can control what's happening um, with the setup. But you have to understand, if you use gut, your racket is going to become a lot more powerful. At first when I switched to gut, I was making a lot more mistakes. I was getting a ton of flyers, just balls that like I thought I hit them well, they were going six feet long. So I do love this setup for its effortless power. But if you are someone who doesn't fully trust your strokes yet, and, and this is what <laughs> you need to know about gut, you gotta trust your strokes, you gotta be able to let go of your strokes. Because if you try to control them, um, gut doesn't hold the ball as much on your string. So, if you don't fully commit and accelerate, accelerate through the shots, uh, it's just gonna fly away on you. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes. Um, if you're tense during the match, you tend to get tense during the match. You might struggle with it a little bit. So just keep that in mind, because I don't want you guys switching to, to gut and just start hitting the back fence. You gotta trust it. You gotta trust, you, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna get more power, but you gotta trust, you gotta get to your finish, you gotta make sure you're accelerating through the shot, and then you're gonna get the best results. Up from a, a hybrid setup like this. So overall, for my use case, the pros offset the cons when it comes to using this hybrid setup on my racket. I know the cost up front is high, but you only use half a set uh, for each racket, and they last longer. The racket just lasts longer. I mean, it's taking me two weeks to break a string, and it holds its tension really well. So if it's strung properly, uh, you can use that racket for a long time. And again, the easy access to controllable power uh, feels a little bit like a cheat code. You know, kind of, now I get it how, you know, Feather and Novak, they're hitting the ball so hard and it's looking so effortless. Now, obviously it's not just the, the gut setup, but it does really help. But I obviously don't think it's for everybody. I would recommend it to more advanced players, people who understand their, their game, have nice strokes already, and again, commit to them. But I think the people who would benefit the most out of a hybrid setup like this are people who struggle with injuries, wrist, elbow, shoulders, they're feeling like you're having to swing too hard, um, or you've been kind of like struggling with chronic pain for a long time, maybe give gut a chance. It, it might not be the fix to it, but this setup is significantly softer, so I think it would, it, it would help 
with those aches and pains and hopefully um, get you on the core again. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna do a lot more of this like little product reviews. Becore 95, leave, leave your comments down below what you wanna know about it. And also let me know if you're planning on trying this hybrid setup or if you already play with gut, what do you feel? What are your thoughts about it? And I'll see you guys on the next one.